Tonight, I'm going to show you guys how to do a manicure at home like this one. Um, I don't really like going to salons or spas to get my nails done. I prefer to do it at home. I find it really fun and relaxing. First, you're gonna remove any of your old nail polish, and then you're gonna soak your hands in fairly warm water for about five minutes. I mix dead sea salt into mine. Right now I'm using this one, it's called Live Clean Spa Therapy. And you can get this at Walmart for about five or six dollars. When your hands are done soaking, you're gonna pat them dry. And then you're gonna push your cuticles back with a cuticle pusher. I prefer to, you can use the wood ones, but I prefer to use a metal one. Um, like this one right here. I like this one because it has a, a wider edge and a sharper edge and I like to use the sharper edge more so. Um, you just push your cuticles back on all your fingers. Just like that. Next you're just going to take your cuticle pusher and you're going to clean underneath each of your nails. And I always just have a towel underneath my hands so that I can wipe the cuticle pusher off as I go. Next, you're going to trim your nails with a nail clipper if needed, and then you're going to file all the um, rough edges of your nails. Always go in one direction when you're filing. Don't go back and forth. If you do that, you're gonna cause jagged edges and it'll, your nails will catch on everything, and also it ruins your nail beds. When I'm finished, filing each nail, what I like to do is take the nail file and run it along the tops of my nails. It just helps smooth out any of the, the last rough edges and I always just run my finger over my nail just to make sure that I got everything. Once you're finished filing your nails, you're going to buff your nails with a nail buffer like this one. Um, this one is a Revlon Shape and Buff. I like this one because it has four different sides with four different textures and coarseness and they're all labeled. Uh, it's a little bit faded but this is step one, it's uh, evening. This one is step two, it smooths your nails out. And then step three is buff and step four is to shine it up. So you're just going to do this on each of your nails. Next I take a cuticle trimmer, something like this one. And I just trim off any dead skin or dry cuticles. And then I just use my towel to clean it off a bit. When you're done with your cleaning tools, once you're finished with your cuticles, I just like to wipe mine down with alcohol swabs just to sanitize them. I think I got 100 of these for $2 at Walmart. So I'm just gonna wipe both my tools off. And then I'm going to put a dab of cuticle oil on each of my nails and then rub it in. The one I'm going to show you that I'm using is um, Pro FX Apricot Cuticle Oil. Um, so I just take it and put a dab of it on each of my nails and then I rub it in. Just like that. Leave that cuticle oil soak for about two minutes and then I just rinse my nails off in the dead sea salt water, just like that. And then I dry my hands off and then I will wipe them clean with one of those alcohol swabs again just to make sure that they're completely clean and prepared for my um, base coat. <laughs> Once you've wiped all your nails clean like this, you're gonna take a base coat I like to use a nail hardener. This one is Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Nail Hardener. And I just apply one coat of that on my nails and let it dry for two minutes. Now you're ready for your nail polish. I am using Cute as a Button by Essie. Essie is my favorite brand of nail polish. Most nail polishes I have found chip as soon as I start washing my hands. This one lasts four to five days before it starts to chip. Um, so apply two coats of your nail polish and wait two minutes in between each coat. Just um, start with a thin layer because your second 
coat will cover any mistakes. If you do make a mistake, I just take my cuticle pusher and I just wipe it, use it to wipe any of the mistakes away. Just like, um, there's that one there and I'll show you what I do. So you just take your cuticle pusher and you just use it to wipe your mistake right off and then I just wipe it on my towel. And move on. I forgot to mention, before you put your first coat of nail polish on, roll your nail polish in between your hands for a few seconds. It just helps get out any air bubbles that may be in your nail polish and it'll make your nail polish go on a bit smoother. Once your nails are finished, they're dry, you can put on a top coat. I like to use Sally Hansen Mega Shine. It's supposed to last, it says on the box, it's supposed to last for up to 10 days. I find applying this every night or every other night, whenever you remember, it really helps your nail polish stop, um, stop chipping as well. And I also apply cuticle oil every night or whenever I remember to my um, cuticles to keep them from drying out. So you just apply a thin coat and this one really makes your nails shine and it actually looks like you've got them done professionally. Okay, we're almost done. Um, there's two more steps left. When your nails are completely dry, they have to be 100% dry. You might have to wait 10, 15 minutes, maybe more. Um, I like to use a facial scrub. I wet my hands and then I take about a quarter size of this scrub. This facial scrub is St. Ives. It's a pink lemon and mandarin orange scrub. I just take the quarter size amount and I kind of run, rub it around my hands as if I'm washing them. I rub it on the backs and in between my fingers and don't forget to get your cuticle area. So just rub that in and then rinse it off and then um, I'll show you the last step. The reason why I do the scrub last is because it gets rid of any dry skin and it smooths your hands out and prepares it for the lotion, which is the last step. Um, I use about a dime or quarter size amount of, of moisturizer. This one is Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant. And you just put it on your hands and run and rub it in. Um, Make sure that you rub it into your cuticles too, just like that. And then once you're done, your hand should look like that. And hopefully like a salon manicure at home. Um, so that's it. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave comments below and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, bye.